Hey guys, popping on here quickly because I bought two new drugstore lip glosses, which I haven't done, I think, since I was a teenager. We're talking a decade. So um, I want to just share kind of some first impressions of these cheap kind of drugstore lip glosses. I think today I'm gonna do the darker shade. I got a lighter shade for summer and a darker shade. The lighting in here is very yellow, but bear with me. I'm not wearing any foundation today, I'm just going bare skin, so I feel like this kind of darker shade will be better, and maybe this one will look nicer when I have foundation on, because it'll be like a kind of a cleaner look. So I'll start with today, this darker one. Um, it's from NYX, NYX, and it's the Butter Gloss line. This is shade Tiramisu. I literally bought it at Target last night. I've been liking the very glossy look. So I own a few lip stains. That That's what I often wear. You'll see me wearing lip stains a lot, which is just like a really kind of bold, solid color, but it's matte. And sometimes I like a fresher look where it's quite glossy, especially on video. And for my work, I do a lot of video calls. So I'm on like conference calls, not fully in conference calls, but even just like a one-on-one -on -one videos. And um, the make, how the makeup shows up on video, I think makes a difference. I have my tiny little mirror here that I'm gonna use. So already, smells kind of nice. Not a very pungent smell. It's not very distracting. It's very natural to my my lip color. Oh, I like it. So it's a little bit lighter than my natural lip, as you can see, my top lip and my bottom lip. It's a little bit lighter in terms of the shade. It's not too sticky, although it is a little sticky. And I can smell it more now that it's on my face. It's also not super pigmented from what I can tell. It is definitely pigmented because you can see it. Oh coming out of the tube there, but it got past my lip and it didn't look ridiculous, so that tells me it's not incredibly pigmented. Um, it is a little sticky. So I like to apply on my bottom lip, purse my lips together, and then fix kind of my, is it called a cupid's bow? So overall, I really like it. There's a little bit of stickiness, but it's not distracting like as I talk. I really wish the lighting was better in here for you guys. This is kind of right up against my window. Um, there you can see it's slightly sticky, but again, not overly done. I'm very happy. I like the look of this. I'll wear it today, report back tomorrow, and also show you that next shade when I wear it. So ready to try the second lip gloss. This one's Neutrogena Hydro Boost in the shade 50 Radiant Rose. Sorry, Dad. He hates when I do that. I have a full face of makeup on which I think is what will look good with this color. Okay, so give yourself a good five minutes to open the package. This one I'm excited about because of the, it says it has hydraulic acid and it is hydrating. Gosh, I'm also trying not to ruin my manicure. Do you have advice for how I should open this? Okay, I'm seriously struggling, hold on. That literally took me another minute to figure out. Okay, but we are in. There's still some plastic on the tube. <laughs> but I got in, so let's see. Hmm. The applicator is kind of interesting. It's like a flat sponge. There's not much product on the wand. There's really not much product as you can see on the wand. Maybe it's just because it's new. 
trying to look in the camera. I kind of like this ass locator. My hope for this is that it looks fresh and kind of summery because it's very pink. Sorry, I'm looking in the camera to apply. Compared to the other one that is darker, has more pigment, which I've been using for a couple days now, by the way, and I really like. So definitely less pigment. It's mostly just shine. Let's see the stickiness. I would say that's a little bit stickier than the other one, but thinner, actually. Like it's stickier, but thinner in texture. The other one is thicker on the lip. Let's get some other light. But I think it's cute. I'm definitely a fan of the color. It's doing what it, I want it to do. Let me apply another layer, though, because I'd like... So you can see like the lines on my lip. I'd like that to look a little bit more solid. So let's put you down. I'm doing this on my phone because I'm currently traveling. I'm in another state. But I wanted to use lip gloss. Let's see. Again, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost in shade 50. I think it's really cute. So far, basically rave review from both drugstore options. And I actually saw the NYX one today in, um, where was I? Nordstrom Rack for $5 compared to this the Target price, which, with, which was more than that, I think more like eight or $9. So check out um, maybe places like TJ Maxx or Nordstrom Rack if you wanna save a couple bucks. But so far a fan. Let me know which of the two you like or which of the two you might even get yourself. They're obviously different pigments, but I wanted to try the two brands. And so far I think actually I'm, a, I'm more of a fan of this feel because it does feel thinner. Yeah, than the NYX, which was just thicker on the lip. Cute. And if you wanna see how I curl the hair like this, there's another video for that. Coming back about an hour later, still loving the gloss. I do think I'm preferring this Neutrogena Hydro Boost compared to the NYX Drugstore lip gloss because of the feel of having it. It's like a little bit less distracting. It just almost feels like um, a lip balm, like a, a more substantial lip balm, this version, which is kind of makes sense since it's called the Hydro Boost and it has like, you know, hydrating, maybe lip balmy elements to it. And I'm also very happy with the color. It's a light pink. I have some pigmentation on my lips naturally, like the color is there naturally. So what you see isn't just gloss, some of it is my own lip color. It's a little bit more translucent than a real lip stain. But if you're looking for a gloss for summer, I definitely am pumped to have this one in my bag. I might even try to get this brand in another shade to mix it up a bit. Cause this also is a little bit more daytime than an evening look. So I would probably want to mix in also an evening color, but pick them up if you'd like to try. I'll try to link these two glosses below and obviously not spawn. This is just kind of a first impression needing a drugstore lip gloss for the new springy summery season. <laughs> um, I'm just keep looking at it because I'm so excited about it. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. If you'd like to stick around just hit that subscribe button and you'll get more of my future videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!